got my turkey. <laughs> I got my Thanksgiving turkey. Go, go, go. Hello, everyone. I'm going to do the Thanksgiving story time with you guys. This is our last story time for the season. I'll probably do a Christmas one at some point, but it won't be like next Tuesday. Um, so I have, because Miss Rachel's favorite is uh, Halloween, and we're going to Thanksgiving. Here's the compromise called Fangsgiving. You have all your various monsters gathering around for Thanksgiving. Oops. It was the we got it. Okay. it was the fourth Thursday in November, and the monsters gathered for their annual Thanksgiving feast. You can see vampire down here and werewolf and ghosty. Everyone chipped in. Virginia whipped up the sweet potato casserole. Sandy mixed the stuffing. Mumford made the cranberry sauce. Of course, Vladimir prepared the turkey. He knew how to cook it just right. Then out of nowhere, he heard a honk, honk, honk. Uncle Gus and Bessie, Joey and Schmoey, what a pleasant surprise. Vladdy! Vladimir loved seeing his family, even when they dropped in unexpectedly. It was a happy reunion. Vladimir invited them all inside. Everyone, this is my family. Family, this is everyone. Oh, my, what is that interesting smell? Mashed potatoes with garlic. <sighs> Vampires don't like garlic. Aunt Bessie whipped up another batch, this time with eyeballs and earwax. Yum, yum. <laughs> Uncle Gus inspected the turkey. Of course, he had his own method. He's going to zap it. Now that's how you cook a turkey. Joey and Schmoey helped Fran make the pumpkin pie, but it turned into lumpkin pie. Let me see if I can get that lined up. Ew. They just love maggot meatballs. That doesn't sound very good. I don't think I'd like maggot meatballs. Can you see the little wormies like crawling around in there? Ew. And then there was Spike, who never meant anything he didn't want to swallow. Anything. Oh no, poor spider. Vladimir loved his family, but they were quickly making a monstrosity of the Thanksgiving feast. Baboon burps, yum! Snail spit makes everything taste good. It needs one more good zap. I don't think any of that sounds good in that poor turkey. And they didn't stop there. The bean casserole had 10 sticks of <laughs> boogie butter in it. The mashed potatoes had a strange look to them. The eyeballs. And the biscuits were as hard as headstones. Clonk, clonk, clonk. And the turkey? Let's just say that Uncle Gus cooked it to death. I don't think that's very good to eat. Nobody looks very happy there. But because they were family, Vladimir was determined to make the best of it. Okay, everyone, gather around. It's morning already. Can someone shut that window? The sun is burning my eyes. Vampires don't like the sun. But then the room went black. Bad idea. Yeah, I can't see anything. Maybe the food will taste better because we can't see it. What's that crunching sound? Somebody turn on the light. And when the light went on... Thanksgiving was gone. Dog gone. Spike had devoured everything. For Vladimir, that was the final straw. You, 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 you ruined everything! What do you mean we ruined Thanksgiving? We are only trying to help. Vladdy, you can't be mad at us. We're family. Oh, Vladimir. Aunt Bessie was right. They were family. And if Vladimir remembered, cor remembered correctly, family worked together. So he demanded a do-over. We're going to cook all over again. They cooked all day. They used whatever they could find. They made potato peel pudding. They cooked a bread crust casserole. They baked turkey bone biscuits. They even made a batch of flea bean dip with just a touch of garlic. 
Now they're all working together. And that evening, with some corn dogs they found in the freezer, out came the perfect turkey. Now that's how you cook a turkey. It looks amazing. Great work, everyone. Are corn dogs made of real dogs? No. So on the fourth Friday in November, everyone gave thanks. Even Spike was grateful in his own way. He's going to have to sit outside, old puppy dog. And of course, the food was to die for <coughs> the end. I have, we're going to go from monsters to dinosaurs. Dino Thanksgiving. Some dinosaurs like to eat meat. Some dinosaurs only ate plants. So we'll see how this one works out. In autumn, there's a thankful mood, a holiday that's filled with food. All the dinos jump and squeal. Thanksgiving! It's their favorite meal. Every dino airport slammed. Every road and highways jammed. No matter where each dino roams today, there is no place like home. Everybody's coming home for Thanksgiving. T-Rex wakes at the crack of dawn. It's time to put the turkey on. He takes the bird out of the brine, seasons it with sage and thyme. Although it won't be done till five, by noon, his guests will all arrive. Compy eyes the roasting meat. I'm hungry. Is it time to eat? The TV's on at True Dawns. They watch the dinos twirl batons. The gleaming floats are all displayed. It's the Dino Thanksgiving Parade. Balloons go by as Midmi cheers. She went to see it live this year. As drummers drum and trumpets blare, a giant turkey floats in the air. It's like the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Tricera sautés greens with ease using grandpa, grandma's recipes. He mixes nuts into a bowl for sweet potato casserole. The broccoli's chopped, the salad's tossed, he's boiling up cranberry sauce. There's corns and beans and fruit galore. No turkey for this veggie sore. They're going to have all vegetables here. Some dinos leave their neighborhoods, go over the river and through the woods. Aloe follows Stego's gaze. Let's get lost inside of that maze. The dinosaurs decide to race between the rows. Liso gives chase. Compy's time cannot be beat. I'm hungry. Is it time to eat? As crawling babies scatter toys, the football game is background noise. The tarot's watch its twin and twin. Both brothers hope the red scales win. Next door amid the pots and pans, the house is full of snacker fans. As football lovers cheer and shout, dino kids run in and out. I'll back little cousins play, ping pong tag and lawn croquet. Raptor helps them fly a kite. They're building up an appetite. The children won't be underfoot, although their kite has gone kaput. Looks like somebody ate it. Compy rolls up on the street. I'm hungry. Is it time to eat? Inside dinner cooks and steams. Outside dinos pick their teams. Flag football is an old tradition. It keeps the rowdies from the kitchen. Playing is a lot of fun. Watch the dinos pass and run. No time to find out which team won. Come and get it. Dinner's done. Compy is the first one in. He wipes the drool off of his chin. There's turkey, stuffing, pie, and more. They all share what they're thankful for. Football. Friends. A winning team. Mom and Dad. My twin. Ice cream. Over at Tricera's place, smiles appear on every face. Each one brought a dish to share, fruit and veggies everywhere. They all join hands from large to least. They're truly thankful for this feast. Then, uncles boast and aunts chatter. Pets upset the turkey platter. That chair doesn't look too stable. Food fights at the kitty table. Old stories told, some dinos weep. Then Graham and Grandpa fall asleep. When each scrumptious dish is passed and the meal is done at last, some dinos sit and sip a cup. 
while others start the washing up. That looks like me. <laughs> then all the dinos come together in crisp and chilly autumn weather. They walk to calm their tummies down to a bonfire at the edge of town. They played, they laughed, they worked, they ate. All agreed this day was great. They look ahead to warmer days. When Dino Easter's on its way. Oh my goodness. I'm not ready to think about Easter yet. But I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I have some sign language. I wrote a list down. So if I'm looking down, I have my little list of words I want to remember. So to say happy Thanksgiving, to say happy, you need to happy. Thank you is usually like this. So to say Thanksgiving, we're going to do it with a bounce. Happy Thanksgiving. To say bread, we're going to have our one hand there. And we're going to cut it with our other hand. Bread. We're going to cut some slices of bread. Bread. To say butter, we're going to have our bread now. So we're going to take our open palm. And I'm going to take two fingers in my other hand. Spread the butter. Butter. For carrot, we're going to kind of take a C. Crunch, crunch, crunch. We're going to eat our carrot. You don't have to make the sound effects. I always do sound effects because I do it with kids. So, <laughs> But this is carrot. To cook, we're going to have, pretend like this is our, uh, our little frying pan or whatever here. We're going to make this flippy flop with our other hand, like we're turning over a hamburger. Go you know, that way. Cook. For dessert, we're going to make the letter D. So to make the letter D, you want to do it from the side. Put all your fingers in a circle except for your pointer finger, which is closest to your thumb. So all your fingers are going to come together except for that pointer finger. So that's the letter D. We're going to do that with both hands. So make the letter D with both hands. And then we're going to turn it and put those D's together. So dessert. Dessert. For dinner... Then we're going to eat and sit together. Dinner. Dinner. For family, this time we're going to make the letter F. So we're going to make kind of like okie dokie. We're going to put our pointers and thumbs together. It's the letter F. We're going to do it with both hands and make a circle. Family together. Start with your, your ones that are pinched. Family. Family. For a feast, we're going to shovel in our mouth. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Feast. Feast. For gravy, we're going to take that gravy boat and dump it. Gravy. Gravy. We put gravy on our potatoes. So to say potato, we're going to have our round little potato here. We're going to take our fork and poke it to see if it's done. This is how I remember my signs. Fork. Or fork. <laughs> potato. <laughs> this is potato. To say mashed potato. Mash. Potato. To say sweet potato, this is sweet. Sweet. Let's see if you try to do it from different angles. Sweet potato. For peas, this one's so cute. Doop, 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 doop. You have, and again, you don't have to do voice, uh, mouth voices I, or mouth noises. I just do it, but pea. Peas. Um, sometimes we say a prayer at Thanksgiving if you are uh, of that uh, persuasion, if you pray before your meals, prayer is just very simple prayer. Pumpkin pie. So first we're going to do pumpkin, which I think we did earlier this fall. You just give it a thump. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. And then uh, you're going to have a flat palm. Cut the pie. Pie. Pumpkin pie. For salad, it's very easy. We're going to take our hands and we're going to toss a salad salad. This is weird to watch myself. <laughs> salad. To say string bean, we're going to have our little bean here. String bean. You just pull it. String bean. Stuffing. So we're going to have uh, our turkey and we're going to take our bread and just stuff it in. <laughs> stuffing. There's stuffing. For turkey, we're going to take our little waddle. See like how this guy has his little waddle. Turkey. So put your hands up here like your pinchy fingers. Turkey. For vegetables, you're going to have the letter V up here by your mouth. Vegetables. And for Thanksgiving, we get to meet with our family and we visit. Letter Vs. And I'm looking at you. 
visit. Or sometimes I see people, or they do like this. Uh, so I don't know if you want to circle it or just go back and forth, but visit. So those are some uh, signs that I thought were good for Thanksgiving. Happy uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> I derped out for a second. I was going to do happy turkey, but okay. I have one more book for you. Twas the night before Thanksgiving. This one I think is funny. These uh, children visit a turkey farm. And uh, turkeys don't do so well on Thanksgiving. <laughs> so uh, they realize what the turkey farm is going to happen, what it's going to be like, and they, they decide to uh, help out these poor turkeys. Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins and hoped that a field trip would soon begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. O'er rivers through woods with whining and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wondering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkey? And a little old man so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer Mac Nugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a the twinkling they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw, more rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came, he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Moe, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky, with smiling beaked faces, and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew, and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. So happy. Until then somebody spotted an ex by the door and she asked Farmer Nugget, what is it for? With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told the grim tale of dread. Here comes the scary part. Tonight, said Mac Nugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes, and they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh no, the turkeys don't look happy either. The poor guy's like, you're going to do what to me? Oh dear, cried McNugget, what shall we do, or shall I do? So he dashed to the well, and the teacher went to, and they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old McNugget and waddled away. Hmm, I wonder what happened to all those turkeys. They limped to the school bus all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then as the school bus drove off in the night, McNug Mac Nugget looked round, not a turkey in sight. Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful, the turkeys the most. <laughs> I have a turkey craft that we can do together. Here it is. Let's see where I put mine. I think I got all the parts. Zoop. So, let me push this down so you can see the desk, I hope. So I have uh, a leaf. There's different leaves, different colors that you'll find in your bag. You'll each have one. So uh, I'll, just, uh, I'll just pick one. I'll just pick that one. So we're going to have a leaf, and you're going to glue to your leaf, you're going to glue this uh, uh, clothespin. I only have 
12 of these and they usually make 12 bags. So I'm not going to actually make one while I glue it together so everybody can have one in their bag. So I'll just show you. We would put glue here and glue it down. And you're going to have a little circle. This little brown circle is going to be your turkey head. That's going to go up top. You're going to have this little teardrop shape here. We're going to glue that to his little face there. I hope you can see that. And you'll have a little beak, a little triangle. Here's your little beak. And it's going to, whoops. Glue one side of that down so he kind of has an open mouth there. And then these little eyeballs are teeny tiny, but there are papers on the back. I don't know if you can see that from here. This paper is already starting to come off. So you just peel the paper off and he's going to have his two little eyeballs stuck on there. So there's no need to glue the eyes. You'll stick them on with the stickies. Uh, you'll have to glue the leaf and the clothespin and the, uh, the wattle and the beak all together. I can't tell because it's at an angle, so I think you can see it from there. When that is all glued together, and again, I'm not going to glue mine because I only have so many available. When that's all glued and dried, you're going to flip this guy over. So, bloop, I'm going to lose all the space there. But yours will be done and dried. You're going to flip that over, and you're going to have some magnets, some little round magnets, in your... Uh, in your bag for you. So you'll take one of your little raw magnets, peel off the paper, put two magnets on, and you'll have a refrigerator magnet with your little turkey. So that's going to be the craft this week, and I have some uh, some coloring, coloring pages? Yeah, coloring pages and crossword puzzles and some connect the dots as per requested by Mr. Harrison. So you can look for all that in your bag. I hope everyone has a really happy Thanksgiving. Um, if if you don't watch another video, I hope you have another. Uh, I hope you have a happy Christmas. There will be another video coming some point for Christmas, um, and I hope you watch that too. But happy Thanksgiving, happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy whatever you celebrate, and I hope you guys have a really great time. Stay safe, and thank you so much for joining me every week. Bye, guys.